In this video, we're gonna see three levels of arpeggios. The first one is, uh, let's say, the ones that already start now to play classical guitar. The second one is a little bit more advanced. And the third one is the most advanced. Something really important before we begin is that you need a metronome. And I'm using for that the Sound Brenner, which you can find for free in the App Store or in Google Store. And uh, let's get started. So the first arpeggio is going to be only with thumb, index and middle finger. We're going to play some simple positions on the left hand and we're just going to start it with metronome. Here you can find the app, sound Brenner, just put it on four quartets, let it ring all the time the same and put it on 70 BPM, so 70 beats per minute and play on each beat one note. So the next step is to play on the same beats, but then play two times on each beat. Before you go to this stage, first repeat at least 10 to 20 times what we played before, before you go to this beat. Really good. The next stage is once you are able to do this after, let's say, one week for the beginners, then play the same thing again 70 BPM and 4 beats. The next level, that is a little bit for, let's say, not for beginners, but in the middle, we're gonna grab just some uh, nice songs, some nice music. For example, Study in E minor by Francisco Targa. And then we can do the same thing what we did there. And then we can start again on 70 BPM and play on each beat one note. Once you practice this a lot, here we have triplets, so we have to play uh, on each beat, not two notes on the next stage, but three notes. So we start with 70 BPM again and we play three notes on each beat.
So for this kind of music, it is not necessary to go even higher, but you can choose variations of uh, this music. For example, you can also play Romanza by Anonymous. It's again the same style, playing with a ring, middle and index finger on the first three strings and with a thumb, usually playing the melody. So at this point, before we begin to the last part, which is really important, you can always uh, leave a comment, tell me if you liked it, if you want me to make more of these videos, and uh, make sure you subscribe. So for the last one, we're gonna study the first etude from Villa Lobos, and uh, we're gonna start again on 70 BPM, and we're gonna play on each beat one note, so one sixteenth note. So for the next one, we have to play two notes on each beat and we still have to leave it on 70 BPM and four quartets and everything the same. on each beat. And for the last, we're going to be playing eight times uh, on each beat. And uh, of course, before you move to each step, practice it a lot of times to play slow. Now, let's move to the last part. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next video.